There is a slight difference between permanent mold and sand casting and it really has to do with the tooling itself. Permanent mold is what it sounds like. It's a permanent mold. It's steel. So you're going to use it multiple times over and over again. Whereas sand, you are using sand as the mold so you're going to have to break it apart every time. Because sand molds are one time use, sand casting is good for low volume production or prototyping. The steel molds are reusable so permanent mold castings are more consistent and repeatable than sand castings. It's machine controlled so you get a consistent pour every time. In permanent mold casting there are three different types of casting methods. You have the traditional tilt pour method which is the most popular. The tilt pour process uses gravity to gradually feed metal into the mold creating a less turbulence producing a denser casting. Basically laying the part horizontal and then as you tilt it back you're having gates run down the sides of the part and you're going to fill from the bottom to the top creating the least amount of porosity. You don't want high porosity in your castings because it can create defects, machining issues, and powder coating issues. Um, especially if they need something that is pressure tested or they need to machine it with minimal porosity. Sand castings are more prone to sand inclusion and porosity. Casting into sand, you get a rougher surface finish than you would casting into steel mold. There is the chance of sand entrapment potentially happening. Permanent mold castings can also hold a higher tolerance than sand castings. This is also a great example of when you want to switch from sand to permanent mold. Um, one, due to volume, um, just due to the sheer need of higher quantity, this was a good part to switch to permanent mold in addition to reducing the amount of porosity that comes through and the potential of sand entrapment.